Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Hell Let Loose video with the Terminator. In this video, I'll be taking you through the best settings for running Update 10 as smoothly as possible, using some specific PC performance settings, tweaking your graphics card settings, and finally a rundown of the in-game settings that work for me. By the end of this video, you should hopefully get some decent performance gains on most maps in Hell Let Loose. It goes without saying that this isn't the be-all and end-all though. All of this highly depends on your PC, your hardware, and it's more a guide for people who find it a daunting task and have no idea idea where to start or what to even try. I do really hope that some of this helps and if it does, drop a like and any questions or thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to get right is the following. Play the game from an SSD, not an HDD. SSDs are far faster, more reliable, and playing from one will absolutely improve the speed at which your game loads and generally plays. The more RAM, the better, and the more chips, the better. Playing from one chip causes lots of performance issues, even on low settings, and you want to have at least 8GB of RAM, guys. Make sure your CPU can catch up with your GPU and vice versa. If you have one that's not as strong as the other, your PC will struggle, especially on maps like Hurtgen and Stalingrad that currently don't have enough optimization. Finally, try to declutter any background processes and make sure your files are all verified in Steam, which you can do like so. You don't have to do all of these things, guys, but obviously the more the better. For example, if you can at least play from an SSD or have a decent amount of RAM, you'll already improve performance quite a bit. Alright, so with all that done, absolutely make sure you have all your graphics drivers up to date and let's move on to some more specific settings. First thing you can do is go into your system settings, find power and sleep, and then go into related settings. You want to choose high performance if you have it, but if you don't, no worries at all. Just go ahead and create a custom power plan that basically favors maximum performance. Next, in settings again, you want to go into gaming and turn off Xbox Game Bar and Game Mode. If you use these settings, actively then no worries at all but otherwise these are background processes that again might slow down your pc so you're basically trying to allocate as much processing power as possible by turning them off next go into gaming mode click on graphic settings and turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and at the bottom add hell let loose exe as an app to set a preference once you choose HLLXE like this, you need to choose the high performance setting. This is all you need to do from a more specific PC setup perspective. Next up, let's take a look at some game settings. I want you to find your HLLXE file in the directory on screen now and right click on the file to open properties. Once here, first thing to do is tick disable full screen optimizations, then go into change high DPI settings and at the bottom click on this box here and make sure it's set to application. Then I want you to go into your NVIDIA control panel and click on program settings here. Now, if you haven't done this already, then you should go ahead and add HLL exe here as a program to edit settings for. Once done, I want you to copy all of the settings I have here in the list. Specifically, set image sharpening to sharpen 0.75 and film grain to 0.85. Set anisotropic filtering to 8x. Turn on FXAA. Turn anti-aliasing mode to enhance the application setting and make sure it's set to 8x. Turn on multi-framed sample AA. Set your GPU in this line. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance. And finally, turn all texture filtering settings off except for these two lines. Don't forget to click apply when you exit and with that your NVIDIA GPU should be all set up to support the game as much as possible. Last but not least, let's go into Steam. Now before we launch the game, I want you to right click on Hell Let Loose and click on Properties. Here, I want you to add the following lines in your screen. These commands will enable full utilization of your system and enable DirectX 12, which should be more stable versus 11. A lot of players have reported that enabling DirectX 12 even helps on Stalingrad, so this is a must, guys. Once all that is set, let's launch Hell Let Loose and play around with the end game settings. Just a quick note here guys, to always use the game in Steam to launch the game. Don't use your desktop icon or any shortcuts, otherwise some of the settings we adjusted earlier won't work. With the game launched, the first thing I want you to do is go into your settings here and set field of view to 120. I'm not sure why, but somehow setting it to 120 gives you a slight performance boost, so definitely worth a try. 
Next up, let's go into the video graphic settings. The settings that will make the most difference here are shadow quality, FX quality, and SSAO. So go ahead and lower FX from epic to high, which should give you roughly 20 FPS, but some people do report that turning it down to medium is best. Shadow quality should be lowered from epic to high as well, which should give you roughly 15 to 20 FPS. SSAO from epic to high will give you plus 10, but turning it completely off as well should give you a further 10 FPS. And finally, set body despawn to its lowest time, which should give you a further 10 FPS. Everything else here is personal preference. I keep to these settings on screen to give me the best experience, but again, it's totally up to you. My final advice here, guys, is whenever you start up the game through Steam, make sure you click apply in the video settings. For some reason, this may also give you an additional 10 to 20 FPS, so definitely worth trying. By following all the recommendations in this video, you should see a decent performance boost, probably in the 30 to 60 FPS range, depending on your rig and what settings you ended up using. The only map that you might still suffer some issues with is Stalingrad, which at the moment is just too poorly optimized for any specific setting to really make a difference. Hopefully through these settings, all the other maps run a lot smoother and you have a much better experience playing the game. U10, as with every update, has made a few things weird while making others better, so I really do hope these settings work for you. Like the video guys and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below and let me know if you have any settings that worked for you that I haven't included here. Subscribe for more Hell Let Loose content, gameplay, and news, and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.